Now we're going to dive into the settings palette down here and we're going to start with the calibration setting. Now if I click on this, up will pop this dialog box here, giving me a number of calibration options. So just like a real analog console, you can calibrate the VCC to perform differently depending on the level that you're hitting it with. Now it defaults with this standard negative 18 dB setting and that's the global calibration level we can see here. So that's the calibration for the entire plugin, no matter what. So we've got a 6 dB swing on either side here, as you can see. So right now, this is actually a mix bus plugin with the RC tube preset. If I play my drum session now, you'll be able to see the meters moving. So you can see there how hard I'm hitting things. If I lower this down to the left here, down towards negative 24, that means lower signals are going to be able to push into the console harder. So effectively I'm making the console more sensitive to the level. So watch this now. And you can see the meter starting to pin now. And vice versa. Let the loop come back. If I go towards the right, I make the console harder to hit. So levels will have to come up to match that. So I'll put that back to negative 18. And so down here, we have independent levels of all eight groups that can operate in an absolute or relative manner to this. This is a fantastic feature if you want to, for instance, make your drums hit the console harder than the rest of the band. So you could assign all your drums to a specific group, and then that group is working the console harder than the rest of the band. So you can segregate all your pieces that way using just the one plugin. So at the moment you can see each one is in relative mode. So I can say, okay, for group one, I want you to be relative to this negative 18 we've got here, down even more. So we're setting a thing there of negative 2.1 on the negative 18, so it's an effective negative 20.1. Group three, we might want to make less sensitive, so we push that one up to 1.7. And they're all working in a relative fashion against this negative 18. So think of it as adding or subtracting an amount against this negative 18 reference. The other way of looking at it is if I make them absolute. So let's make one and two absolute. And now you can see the numbering has changed on these. So now this one is negative 18 unto itself. And now it's negative 21.8 unto itself. This one's negative 15.7 unto itself. And the global calibration level stays at negative 18 but these two have sort of broken away from that and are doing their own thing. So that's the absolute value versus the relative value. This last column here on the left with on underneath it is simply that, on off switches for each individual group. So for instance now with group one's calibration level off, if I play, and I'm moving this slider along, you can see there's actually no effect to the meters. But if I turn it on, then of course it will start working. So more sensitive, and we're pinning out the meters there, less sensitive, and we're bouncing around. So the good thing is we can turn these on and off on an individual basis. So that allows us to have settings in place and then audition things with and without those calibration levels happening. Up here, we've got the current to default and the reset from default buttons. Unfortunately, they're not working as you would expect at the moment, but ideally reset from default will reset the board to the default level. That does appear to work, but current to default should sort of save your own preset. If I choose, I always wanna run things like that. I should be able to choose current to default and it should memorize my setting now and I should be able to recall that as my default any time. So if I was to mess that up, and then hit reset from default, it should actually jump back to what I had set in my current to default, but I think that'll be addressed in the next update, so we should be good to go from there. So that's calibration settings. Next up, we're gonna look at the output and VU preferences.